Change can be hard, but for families affected by autism, any deviation from routine can be overwhelming. The past few months have proven this with the abrupt closing of schools and businesses worldwide. There was no time to transition home or say farewell to teachers and friends. Parents and educators scrambled as classroom instruction suddenly went online, and for many, therapies were halted. Life was placed on hold and families struggled. Hello everyone, my name is Amy Tobik and I'm Editor-in-Chief of Autism Parenting Magazine. As we enter the traditional back to school time of year, it's no wonder it's with great apprehension for many. Whether your children will be returning to the classroom this fall or they will be schooled at home, the transition to yet another new schedule is likely to be tough. We are here to help you work through this process and hopefully lessen those jitters and anxieties during these uncertain times. This month's issue is filled with professional strategies to help your family jump back into education. From advice on how to reduce morning stress and develop social skills to how to adapt to homeschooling, we have the guidance you seek. Be sure to check out 17-year-old award-winning neurodiversity advocate and author Sienna Castellan's transitioning tips to make new environments less stressful. She has thoughtfully included some of the unique challenges she has faced as a girl with autism. Another valuable topic this time of year is executive functioning. This is the term used to describe the tasks our brain perform to think, solve, and act. And when children with autism have executive functioning difficulties, it affects the learning of new information and utilizing what has previously been learned to solve problems. Be sure to look at how to work through the barriers that may exist at home so your family can start feeling more successful in day-to-day -day life. Our writers have covered so many valuable topics in this issue, including how intestinal health can significantly affect cognitive health, ways to help picky eaters explore more foods, the value of experiential learning for people on the spectrum, and guidance for preparing an IEP. We also have an informative piece on how the whole family can combat anxiety during these times using simple yoga techniques. We hope you and your family are doing well during these tough times. Please know you can reach out to us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as AutismParentingMagazine.com. Support one another and stay well.